Hi, my name is Cameron from Covisum, and today we'll be going over tax clarity. Before we get started, I just want to show you our tax clarity landing page right in here. Um, so right here, this is where you can schedule to see a live demonstration of the tool. Um, and scrolling down a little bit more, um, this is where you can get started with a free 10-day trial. So when you log into our latest version, it'll take you into this page right in here. Um, clicking on this Add Client button, so where you just enter in your client's information. Um, you can also import clients through Redtail as well. Um, and then right down here as tax analysis, that's so you'll make sure you have that selected and then click on start to get started. So I have a case that I already entered in. So let's go ahead and go through that way. So when you're brought into the tax clarity uh, uh, tab right over here, um, going through these tabs, you'll see there's a information for your clients that you'll have to enter in right through here and then any dependents uh, settings that includes your tax years brackets and thresholds mappings for tax years prior to 2018 and a couple other options that include the tax cuts and jobs act 2017 feature and the uh, excluding medicare premiums uh, ordinary income so everything will come straight from the 1040 and if you have any schedules uh, as well you enter that information right to here so for this case i entered in ten thousand for earned income 40,000 for IRA distributions. Capital gains, uh, that is your Schedule D right in here. So I just entered in 15,000 for long-term capital gains. Other income, uh, Social Security, I entered in 60,000 right there as well. And then you can also enter your both the line deductions and IRA contributions. Then your Schedule A uh, will be entered in right through uh, these tabs right as well. So. Uh, once you have everything entered into the software, you click on see results and what it'll bring up is this tax map. So there's uh, several different things going on with the tax map right in here. Uh, you'll see, notice first these gray spikes. So that, that represents is your uh, Medicare premiums right in here. Um, so that will determine, like, for example, within this case, at 104000 of ordinary income, their client will hit that uh, first Medicare premium increase threshold. And then uh, the second one right over here represents the same thing as well for 148,000. Uh, this green dot represents your client's current position. So they currently have $50,000 of uh, ordinary income being taxed at uh, 50, pretty much 40, uh, 50%. Uh, this red area that represents your regular tax brackets. So that's your 10, 12, and 22%. And then this gray area is your effective marginal rate. So that's uh, those taxes on every everything else like your social security for example um, when you enter in that information you can actually go down here to see these details and you can see a detailed view of your base case right down in here so everything from your inputs down to your calculated fields right over here so agi magi all the way down to total taxes uh, with this version you can actually create as many alternate scenario cases that you would like you just go back to that arrow, click on this plus sign, um, give your new tax map a name, and you can either create an entirely blank one or clone the current one. So what I've done, I have created an alternate case. Um, I went back into my ordinary income, changed my IRA distributions from 40,000 to 34,500. And now we can see how that made a change on our tax map right in here. So we went from uh, 50,000 being taxed at 50% down to 44. Uh, 500 uh, being taxed at 22%. Uh, so, and then, like I said, you can go back down here, compare, contrast our uh, base case to our alternate case, see the differences in the total taxes, the differences in the 0% long term capital gains as well, too. And then we do have the capital gains tax map right up in here. Clicking on there will show you the taxes for uh, capital gains as well. So, here's our base case, alternate case. And then uh, another thing with the um, creating the additional uh, alternate scenario cases, um, I can go back into these settings and change the tax years, the uh, viewed future tax years. So I went ahead and uh, created a tax map for uh, 2020. Um, so now I can, based off of those changes that I made, I can go back over here and then see uh, how the taxes line up for 2020. Um, for everything as well compared to our alternate previous cases. So if I want to see 2019 to 2020 um, and uh, up to the year 2023 right in here, I get a nice detailed view of that. 
So if you're in here working on a case and you're uh, having some issues or some questions on anything, you can click on the support button right up top here and click on continue. And in order for your case to fully send over to our support team, you have to make sure you click on this close button right down at the bottom and give our support team a call at this 877 number so you can get connected with them. They can pull up your case and work through that with you uh, until your issues are fully resolved with everything. So um, thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.